Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort, who's facing a federal indictment on charges of money laundering and hiding his work as a foreign agent, claims to be worth $28 million, prosecutors said in a court filing Sunday. Lawyers from special counsel Robert Mueller's office disclosed the figure as negotiations continue over a package of assets Manafort would pledge in order to be released from home confinement, which he's been under since he and longtime aide Rick Gates were arraigned Monday on a federal indictment. Story continued below in a court filing Saturday, lawyers for Manafort offered to pledge three properties as part of the bail arrangement Manafort's Trump Tower apartment in Manhattan, a condo several miles south in Chinatown and Manafort's primary home in Palm Beach Gardens, FLA. Prosecutors said in their response Sunday they're not sure those properties are worth the $8 million Manafort's attorneys claimed. Although Manafort has provided the government with a spreadsheet listing his total assets at approximately $28 million, the government has yet to substantiate Manafort's net worth. Indeed, we continue to have questions about that sum, prosecutors Andrew Weissman, Greg Andres and Kyle Freeney wrote. At present, Manafort has not yet substantiated his bail package in a manner sufficient to warrant a modification of the conditions of his release. By signing up you agree to receive email newsletters or alerts from Politico. You can unsubscribe at any time. For example, while Manafort appeared to calculate the value of his Trump Tower condo at $6 million, prosecutors said the value could be substantially lower. The government does not presently have sufficient information to assess the claimed net asset value of this property, or even to be confident that the property has equity in it at all, prosecutors said. Although prosecutors questioned the value of some of Manafort's properties, Mueller's team appeared willing to accept a bail package smaller than what Manafort's team claimed to be offering $10 million versus $12.5 million in properties and life insurance policies. In addition, the prosecution appeared to be willing to end Manafort's GPS monitoring. That was not listed among the conditions prosecutors said they would require, even though U.S. District Court Judge Amy Berman Jackson indicated Thursday she was reluctant to end the GPS tracking for Manafort and Gates. Jackson has scheduled a hearing for Monday morning on bail issues for the two men. In their filing Sunday, prosecutors also suggested Manafort was minimizing his Ukraine-related work, which gave rise to many of the charges against him. Manafort claims that his work in the Ukraine ended in 2014, while the indictment alleges his continued work through 2015 on behalf of the opposition bloc, after the flight to Russia of President Viktor Yanukovych, the prosecution noted.